That guy, Leo DiGiulio, tonight. I don't want nobody else to sell guns in my territory. You got that? With pleasure. He's all mine.
Give me a snake. I want some information. I want to know about those guns from the armory. Who's holding them? How much you paying? I'm not paying nothing. It's your turn, baby. Give me the information and give it to me now. I don't know much. Run it, Snake. The word is, the guns are coming from a dude named Nighthawk, who works for this guy named Joe Marks. <laughs> Suspect being involved in multiple homicide described as late model Mercury four door California plate Robert Henry Victor. Numbers unknown. Suspects described as five adult males. No further description. Captain Skidmore. Yeah, Skidmore, Agent Crawford, AGF. Returning your call. Say, so, listen, you know the uh, shooting that we had in the Chinese restaurant? Well, uh, we think that uh, we've got a real problem with this thing. Uh, we've got uh, automatic weapons, according to our ID people, and a lot of 223 brass lying around. And I'm wondering if this might tie in with the uh, burglary at the armory that you folks are investigating. That's exactly what we thought. Uh, I sent one of our agents down, Agent Bryant, to look into the situation. Bryant. Right, one of our best men. Now, Bryant talked with one of our informants. He got two names that might be connected to this situation. The names of Nighthawk and Marks. That's Nighthawk and Marks. That's M-A-R-X. Okay. Look. Uh, we've got a real problem here. If these guns get out in the street in our area, uh, well, it's not uh, zip guns and switchblades. Understood. Okay, I'm going to assign uh, a man to work with Bryant. That's Lieutenant Long. What's his name? Lieutenant Long. Long? Isn't he the one that uh, his wife was raped and killed a while back? That's right. Is he going to be all right? No, he's not all right, would you be? But I'll tell you one thing, he's going to get the job done. Okay, Skidmore, whatever you say. I'll have Bryant uh, contact him. Bye. guys to listen up closely now I'd like to introduce you to agent Bryant who wants to talk about the uh, theft of some weapons all right we've been running down a weapons dealer that goes by the name of Nighthawk now we know he's been dealing here in the Riverside area and we have reason to believe that uh, he lives in the Palm Springs area now, there is a possible but unclear connection between the weapons that have been used locally and the ones that were taken from the armory now, we're gonna need all the local cooperation we can possibly get to nail this guy.
Whatever you do, no witnesses. If it ever gets back to where you got them, I'm going to kill you, you, and you, your mama, your daddy, your sister, and your brother. In the top of the news, local police are still investigating last night's brutal killing of 15 people at the ranch market on Maine and Howard, and Monday night's killing of gun dealer Liu DiGiulio and 14 other people at Chang's Chinese Restaurant on Grand and Lake Avenues. Police information officers have told KHUD News they feel the two crimes may be linked. Although there were no witnesses, police investigators reportedly have recovered brass casings found on the floor. The weapons used were military-type automatic rifles, possibly the same weapons stolen from the Sands National Guard Armory several days ago. The evidence recovered is being processed and examined by federal officers of the alcohol, tobacco, and firearms investigation team sent in from Washington. Local police will be working with the federal authorities. Hey, big guy, look. The weapons and apprehend Made the suspects. news. I will be back with more on this story in just a few minutes. Sunita. Hey, hey, come here, baby. Oh, my goodness, come here. How pretty you look. Come up here. Come here. Hey. Oh, she look cute? Oh, look at her. She looks beautiful. We just came from the clip joint. What's a clip joint? That's a poodle parlor. A poodle parlor. Be gentle, it's your baby. Uh, Hawk, make a lady a drink. Just a short one, please. 500 bucks at a pooch parlor. And this little thing, I won't tell you, I love it. You know, you know I love it. But she poos and she pisses all over the living room. I don't want that no more because the next time she does it, I'll kill it. I mean, you expect me to housebreak the dog. I can't do it. I'm not with the 24 I don't want her to shit in this room. I don't want her to drop any bonbons in the kitchen. I don't want her to do anything in the house anymore. You promised me you'd housebreak the little bitch. I tried, but she always oh, makes cuckoo. Oh, she's cuckoo. adorable. Isn't she adorable? I'm breaking in the new girl, though. Yeah. What you like? She's cute, she's adorable, she's petite, and boy, is she gonna bring in the customers. Police fear more killings and robberies. Well, what? From the National Guard Army For what? Robert. For me. What are you gonna do with them? Play Monopoly? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Monopoly, huh? huh? Funny. There's a bit about the Holman heist. There may be several hundred automatic rifles and explosive devices in the hands of what some authorities speculate may be terrorists. <laughs> we got him! Come here, baby. Papa didn't mean to scare you. Come on, take a bite. Come on. What are you up to, Joe? Oh, just uh, expanding the business. By the way, you got something for me? Yeah, I got something for you. Yeah, there's a Good business. Yeah. 
send that girl over. By the way, what's her name? Candy. You got one for me. When I start pushing little boys, I'll let you know. <laughs> Anita's candy. Uh, <laughs> Anita, yeah. She told me about you. Come on over. Mm, sit down. That's a good girl. Mm. Tell me about yourself. This really isn't me. Mm. Well, uh, what, who are you? Well, I'm I'm really a singer. I... <laughs> singer, sing. Now. Sing. Here. Sing. God damn it! Let me tell you something, girly. When Joe Mark says sing, you sing. I don't want to sing. Girly, when you know Joe Mark's long enough. And this old son of a bitch tells you to sing. Now you sing before I get physical with you. Sing! Anything! Fools rush. Fools rush in. So here I am. Awfully glad. To be unhappy. I can't win, so here I am. Oh, I got the words. <laughs> Take it off. No, I don't. No. Kenny Baker One reported a possible dead body along the river bank. RP advises the body is beneath the bushes on the east side of the river. Area checking advised. Baker One will be checking the river bottom. Proceeding northbound in the river, approaching Mount Rubidoux. Uh, 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 Baker One to control. We've got her. Baker One will maintain an orbit above the location. Vector the detectives in on our unit. Jim. While you've been working this armory caper, we've had a rather odd thing happen. We discovered a body out in a river, young, female, nude. Now, the odd part about the M.O. is the fact that she had a burn mark over her left breast. Now, the little checking around, we found out back in New Jersey that there have been several homicides in which the same kind of uh, situation has existed. And they got a suspect named Marks. They haven't been able to prove anything on the guy. But with the name Marks and with our Marks here, we think these might be connected. So what I want you to do is get off the armory thing for a little while and look into this and see if you can connect the two together. Now, the first place to start, I think, is to go over and talk to the coroner and see what he has to say about it. Okay? Now, Captain, I got some information you don't have. I talked to a guy who knows a guy who knows something about the organization. I have a meeting with him tomorrow afternoon. Okay, I want you to keep that meeting. But first of all, I want you to talk to the coroner about this girl.
got a severe hematoma of the right eye, in the right cheek, around the mouth. The uh, bruising is very, very severe around the throat here. It'll be interesting when we get inside, uh, see what the hyoid bone looks like. This little lady's really been worked over. It'll be interesting. When will the autopsy report be ready? Hopefully we'll have it all done for you by tomorrow. Uh, check her out for sexual abuse. And don't forget the nail scrapings. Yeah, no problem. That's routine. Also a set of extra photographs uh, and a videotape. Lieutenant Long, you know that number you gave me, that 555-5074 with the name Anita? Okay, I've got the information back from the phone company. It comes back to an Anita Farrell, F-A-R-R-E-L-L, -L, at 32 Skyline. Yeah, that's right, 32 Skyline Drive. Yeah, okay. can I do you for? I'm looking for someone. Well, China boy, you come to the right place. Anita's got someone for everyone. Hmm. A lieutenant. A real lieutenant. What do you know? Recognize her? Joanne Blow. 
Well, let me refresh your memory. She used to work here. She used to work for you. A lot of people work for me. We found her body this morning, strangled. I expect you to call me. Sparky is a friend of mine. She will do it any time for a nickel or a dime. 20 cents for overtime. <laughs> That's it, Sparky. Anita, come on in, babe. Sit down. <laughs> Kill her. What's in your mind, babe? Son of a bitch. You killed her. She never showed. Scouts on her. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Some cop came by. They found her body floating in some damn river someplace. Shit. Now she's gonna cry. She was only 19. My old lady always cried. She was just a kid, Joe. You know what I did to my old lady? I slapped her. She says, I hate crying, woman. He didn't kill us, we are. You think you got her, asshole? <sighs> What'd you do that for? Oh, she's bleeding all over the bed. And you, you're bleeding all over my carpet. Get in the john and wash it off. It's only a 22, for Christ's sake. Oh, poor baby. Hey, Reed. Yeah, uh, who are you? Tell them all. OK, well, listen, uh, up front. I don't know anything about anything, okay? I'm just here for a, a guy I know, and uh, uh, now he may or may not know something about this armory thing that went down, you know, uh, where they took all the guns. Uh, uh, when that stuff hit the street and that thing went on at the Chinese restaurant, he didn't know anything about that. I mean, he didn't know that was going to be involved, okay? And uh, uh, I mean, if he did anything, maybe he drove the drove the truck, okay? So what he wants to know is. If he gives you any information, is he going to be protected? Is he going to be safe? Because uh, these guys, uh, they play for real. I'll see what I can do. You know, uh, okay, I I'm going to have to trust you. Three o'clock tomorrow at Martin's Bar, okay? Now, now, you don't have to do anything. You just show up there, all right? Just show up and he'll find you, okay? That'd be good. <laughs> it will be. Yes, good more Crawford here. Listen, I have some information about Anita Farrell. You know she was found uh, dead on the desert. All right, we have an informant back east who tells us that any place that Anita is, so is Mark's. If she was found in your area, he's got to be around someplace. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. We're going to concentrate all of our agents into this case down in your area. OK, Crawford. Thanks very much. I'll pass it on. Yeah, that was Crawford. He's confirmed that Mark's is here. Now, this informant again, what's his name? Jess. OK. You're supposed to be meeting him in a bar, I understand. All right, I again, stress to you, you've got to protect him. I'm getting old. You're getting prettier. And I sometimes wonder why. Just gets a lovelier The years pass by and I'm getting old How's 
going, man? It's going back to the head. Coming down my street. <laughs> now I ask, ain't she pretty? I tell you, she is really pretty. What do you need those monkeys out there for? Oh, a bunch of drag, but they come in handy. Yeah, there was a time when I would handle everything. Yeah, there's still plenty for you to do, big fella. Yeah. Like cleaning up behind you and that dog. And your women. And getting well paid for it. Yeah. Look at you, wearing scarves, flowers in your hair, <laughs> talking to a dog. <laughs> Business going down the tubes. Yeah. And you're still turning into a raven faggot. Yeah. Yeah. All right. What? You stupid ass punk. Yeah. What was that? It was a punk you sent over to take care of the snitch. He shot him in the shit house of a pool hall with a shit house full of witnesses. Oh, that's brilliant. Where is he now? He's on his way over here to get paid. Okay. Let him come. We'll pay the son of a bitch. Go, little baby. Go on. Go on. You know, one thirty four, you know, thirty five on subject. First name of Jess, unknown last name. Be a white male adult, approximately thirty seven years old. Blonde, curly hair, beard, no further information. Hey, Lieutenant. What's going on? I got a dirt bag in here by the name of Jess. This guy's head blowing up in the bathroom. Let's take a look. Captain, they got Long's informant. Put him away in a bar. Oh, terrific. Any witnesses? Yeah, about 30. They know who he is. They know he drives a black Z. Got a good description. What's his name? Brad Lunsford. OK, get to dispatch, get an APB out on this guy, see if you can find out where he lives. I want him in custody just as quickly as possible. Hey, brother. Who's the girl? Number one, I'm not your brother. Number two, I got what you want. And the lady is my insurance policy. Try this.
What do we have? Lieutenant, looks like a hit on the Ramirez gang. We got bodies laying all over. seen you in about a year, man. Tony, do me a favor. Take the boy down. So, Lieutenant, what brings you down to this tournament? I thought all you old fat guys stopped competing in these competitions. Somebody blew away the Ramirez gang over on the east side. They hit them with automatics. You knew them. What happened? Yeah, I knew them. And I knew it was coming. It was a guy named Sanchez. Sanchez? I don't know him. Well, he's from East L.A. Uh, he used to run around with Ramirez. Where can I find him? Huh. Today's your lucky day, Lieutenant. He was just here about an hour and a half ago. Here comes the guy who's been asking about us. Hey, guys, get off. You fuck so hard to hear it? I said, get off. One hell of a good morning. How'd I look to you? Is this all from last night? Yeah. Jim, that's one hell of a lot of firepower to rob a liquor store. And I guess it's the kind of weapons that this guy Marks likes to deal in, huh? Think they're association? Oh, you betcha. Let me just double check it. See if these numbers match. Huh. All 
the numbers match. Just as fast as I can. I'm lonely, hey, man. I'm lonely, 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 man. I'm Stand by to assist Unit 143. Unit 143, report of shots being fired at Howard's Liquor at the corner of Kansas and 7th. Possible armed robbery in progress. Unit 143, yours to handle. Unit Baker 1, copy. 143, shot and run around, we'll take the front. At 9 p.m. last evening, local police, with the assistance of federal officers from the Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearm Investigation Unit, arrested three suspects wanted in the gang war killing of nine people on the east side. A local police detective shot and killed one of the suspects who attempted to use an automatic rifle. At 4 p.m. this afternoon, police shot and killed two men in the attempted robbery of Howard's Liquor on Kansas Avenue. One of the suspects was arrested. Police recovered six automatic rifles that were stolen from the National Guard Armory. In our studio, we have Captain Mike Skidmore, who is in charge of the investigating team. Welcome, Captain. Do you feel that you now have the people who have been involved in these recent killings and robberies? We think that we have a good share of them, Bill. Are they terrorists? No, they're ordinary street criminals. Then why would they be using that type of equipment for that type of crime? That's what we're attempting to find out now. And what is your next move? We have several leads, uh, which we'd prefer not to talk about at this time and, or comment on what our investigation is going to progress. Are you satisfied with the way it's going? Well, we're satisfied as long as no more people are killed and we can get these weapons off the street. Thank you, Captain. I ain't done nothing. There ain't no witnesses, so there ain't gonna be no trial. And who the hell are you anyway? Some kind of messenger boy for the white man? Got what it's like to be a brother? <laughs> <laughs> 
You got the nerve, the audacity to sit there and run that brother shit on me. And what about all those brothers you killed in that liquor store? John, no, you just sit there and convince yourself that uh, the man is out to get you. And look what the system has done to poor little old me. Now, I want to know where those guns are. And if you don't tell me, I'm going to personally make sure that you fight for it. Now, you got a decision to make. I can't help you, brother. Because I ain't done nothing. And I don't know nothing about no gun. Do you know what kind of damage those guns are going to do if they get into the wrong hands? And what about those brothers and sisters you supposedly love? Ryan, take it easy. Sebastian needs to think it through. All right, maybe I have been just a, a little bit too hard on poor little Sylvester. But I'm going to tell you something, brother. We already got Sanchez, and he's about to sing. So you better decide what you want to do. Hey, Carl. Sanchez, I got about two minutes, so don't waste my time. I want a deal. I want to make sure the blame is on that puto Sylvester and it doesn't come on me that I'm a rata. You got my word on it. We make this connection with this guy called Bernie. He's got a pawn shop on the corner of 8th and Park. I'm in the market for some guns. Fine, got plenty of guns. Got uh, rifles, pistols, what would you like? Man, I do business with in San Diego. He said, you know where I can get M16s, grenades, claymores, lost rockets. Said you know the right people? Man, this is a legitimate business. This is a pawn shop. The stuff you're talking about is illegal. I ought to call the cops. Hey, good idea. Who do you know in San Diego? Hey, get me in touch with Joe Marks. He has what I need. I'll tell you what. Come back in about a half an hour. Now, better still, meet me in the bar down the street. Uh, I got some business to do. We'll talk in a little while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know who you mean. He, uh, he, uh, wants some heavy hardware. What do you mean, sending them to me out of the blue like that? 
Look, it just came up. He wants to do business. He's the same guys that shot up that import company? Right, you got it. Can you put it together, Benny? Yeah, yeah, I guess, uh, I guess I can set up the deal, but I don't feel real good about this one. Rocket launchers. What the hell ever happened to good old shotguns? I didn't know you were the sentimental type, Bernie. Yeah, well, okay, I'll see you then. Yeah? I just got through talking to him. Was there a hitch? No, I, I convinced him he's a stand-up guy. Good. Guess we can see about your little problem now, huh? I'm a dead man if Max hears about this. Well, turning witness affords you a lot of protection now, doesn't it? <laughs> you, you better not leave me hanging out on this. Are you, are you hearing me? on your daddy for so long can't sit still and it's time for me to finally take a stand well kept secret is your strongest point but i found out it's time for you to go get lost take a hike don't bother me no more i wish you luck break a leg before you reach the door but you've been cheating on your daddy for so long, can't sit still. And it's time for me to finally take a stand. The others say I'm crazy, and I must have read and read. To be in love with a low-down cheating fool. But I've just been lazy, and it's time to speak my mind. It's my house and my set of rules. Get lost. Don't bother me no more I wish you luck Break a leg before you reach the door But you've been cheating on your daddy For so long you can't sit still And it's time Cheating on your daddy For so long you can't sit still And it's time for me to finally take a stand I guess I told you that I'm going I want to see Marks tonight. I told you, let him make a ring. If I can't see Marks tonight, I'll take my business somewhere else. Hold on. I told you I got to make arrangements. I'll make a phone call. Where are you staying? I'll call you. It'll be tonight. King's in. In 211. Fine. Agent Bill Bryan, please. Agent Crawford. Yeah, I'll put him through. Yeah, Long, what's up? No, I'm taking all of his calls for him. Well, he got information from an informant named Snake that Nighthawk might be at a place called the Morocco Club tonight. Now, listen, Long, if there's any more information about this thing, I'll get it back to your captain. All right? All right. Hey, man, how you doing? 
How you doing? What's going on? What's the news, man? Hey, you. Hey, what you talking about? I don't know what you're talking about, man. You know exactly what I'm talking about. No, I'm not. I... I... If I want to or not, after seeing the punks you hang around with. <laughs> Where are you from? Arkansas. <laughs> Arkansas. Never you mind my punks. What kind of money are we talking about? That depends on what you got. He's cute. Real cute. Take all you got. <laughs> what the hell are you doing? You outfitting an army? Maybe. Your chink's gonna take over. When can we get it? When I say you can. If I can't get it by tomorrow, forget it. He's a picky little bastard, isn't he? You get it by tomorrow. Okay. We'll call you. Slant eyes. That's it. You better be right about this guy. It's your ass. Send for an ambulance. Somebody's gonna get hurt. Honey! Another taco!
Hey, Chinaman. You in there. Open up. I want to talk. Stay right there and don't move. What are you going to do? Shoot through the goddamn door? Look, friend, I'm sorry for what happened, but that wasn't my fault. Sometimes you can't control these guys. Just open up and we'll talk about it. Please. All right, Gorilla. You first. Hey, look, man, I'm sorry. But I got a deal that you're gonna like even better. Just take it easy with that thing, okay? You're hurting pretty bad, huh? What do you think? Now, my men had to be rough on you. Come on, you can understand that. I'd make damn sure you weren't a cop. And I made damn sure. Because if you'd been a cop, you'd have had backup all over the place. You passed my test with flying colors. No hard feelings, huh? Come on, Chinaman. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll throw in a couple of free cases of ammo for you being such a good sport. Maybe a couple of broads. Yeah, maybe a couple of broads. <laughs> you know how it is. You can't be too careful. You understand that. Oh, yeah. Here's a number. You call tomorrow, I'll tell you where to meet. You're a good boy. I like you, China boy. OK. <laughs> See it. He can't even fight. What's that noise in the corner? What is that? There was a, that's my baby Jody. That's oh, my baby. It makes a lot he of noise. He's the best baby. I, you know, I never thought I'd have a kid before this. This kid is great. Eight people read the goddamn papers. You know, I think I'm going to go back on a vacation. That's what I want to do. I want to just get out of here. I'm going to take my kid Jody. I'm going to go up to this place called she Mammoth Lakes. Have you ever been to Mammoth Lakes? She just keeps going. You know what? I don't like Southern California anymore. No, it's too smoggy for me. You shut up, that kid. Sometimes you think it's going to rain. The clouds just build up and build up, and it yeah, doesn't it's rain. It's just smog. Shut up, that kid. And another thing, the mindless violence that's going on. The other night, I thought I heard a gunshot. I was sitting in my bed, and I and I was getting ready to turn the light out, and, and this gun went off, and I turned my dog. When he came on the bed, he was just shaking all over the place. I mean, if I was just to be uh, walk down the street at night, I could never do that. Just walk down the street. You know, I was raped one time. I, 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 I didn't know who tried this. He looked at me, and 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 I check. Damn it! I want to check. Trust him. And that chink. That 
slope head slant like that. I don't trust him. I don't trust nobody. The only thing I feel bad about is that little dog. I really miss that little dog. All he did was shit in the floor. Hell, I don't mind blowing away them broads, but little dog. Nah, fuck it. Now get me another little dog. But I miss Sparky. <laughs> I gotta do something about that sound bitch, and I'm gonna. And from now on, it's me alone, nuts or otherwise, against the whole friggin' world. Old Joe Marks is gonna run a lone wolf operation. Plenty of towns I can work out of. Rio, hell, even Europe, anywhere. First, I gotta take care of that smart ass black bastard. Hey, man, where the hell have you been? You know how late it is? It don't matter. You know I miss that little dog? I really miss it. I'll tell you what I want you to do. I want you to get a tombstone for the little dog, a nice one, OK? With her name and the day she, you know what I mean. And uh, then stop at the clip joint. That's where we got her. Remember? She had a brother and a sister, two little, two little poodles. Get them both. Make sure they're black and get a lot of dog food, a lot of the goodies. And uh, I'll tell you what, that same kind of orange, like Halloween stuff, the, you know, the orange uh, uh, leash and the collar and the, 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 hey, what are you doing? What are you, what are you doing? Ah! Ah! Open up, Nighthawk! What the hell are you doing, man? God damn it, this kid. And don't bleed over my car. Sergeant, where's Long? I've been in contact with him. You know the number he got from Marks? Yeah. I checked it out. It comes back to a warehouse in the industrial district. You Chinaman? Yeah. You got the money? Yeah. Have you got all the money? 200,000 in fifties and hundreds. You better be on the level. Just don't you start no shit. All units, emergency traffic only.
Drop the gun. Drop the guns. Okay, Chinaman. Now, what do you think you're going to do with that? to units, we got a green light. so long, old man.
up the bullets, Chinaman. Go on, Count. Don't take all the credit. Some bitch double crossing. Smart ass. He got what he deserved. That's. That's karma, Chinaman. You know about karma. What about you? Never felt better. Let me advise you of your rights. You have the right to remain silent. Nowhere to run when the storm. 